still on complex numbers. But this time around, we'll talk about the algebra of complex numbers. The algebraic operation involves addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of complex numbers. Let us start with addition of complex numbers. I want to add these two complex numbers, 4 plus 5i plus 3 minus 2i. Okay? I can write them without brackets, 4 plus 5i plus 3 minus 2i. So the idea here is to add like terms. That's it. 4 plus 3, 5i minus 2i. That's it. So 4 plus 3 is 7. 5i minus 2i is 3i. This is the result. Let's see for subtraction. If z1 is equal to minus 14 plus 7i, and z2 is equal to 8 minus 5i, we have to determine z1 minus z2, z2 minus z1. Let's start with the first one, z1 minus z2. It is equal to, z1 is this, negative 14 plus 7i, then minus, this is z2, 8 minus 5i. I will have to enclose it in brackets, okay, 8 minus 5i. And so we have negative 14 plus 7i. Minus 1 times 8 is minus 8. Minus 1 times 5i is plus 5i. Minus 14 minus 8 is minus 22. Minus 22. 7i plus 5i is 12i. So this gives z1 minus z2. The second one says z2 minus z1. For z2 minus z1, we have this. z2 is this. 8 minus 5i minus z1 is this. Minus 14 plus 7i. Alright? So, 8 minus 5i. The minus 1 will enter the bracket and we have plus 14 minus 7i. 8 plus 14 is 22. Minus 5i minus 7i is minus 12i. This is z2 minus z1. Let's talk about multiplication. I have 3 plus 4i times 2 plus 5i. So this is how to multiply. 3 times 2, that's 6. 3 times 5i. That's 15i. 4i times 2, that's 8i. 4i times 5i, that's 20i squared. Right? 4 times 5 is 20. i times i is i squared. So we have 6 plus 15i plus 8i is 23i. Now, Remember we said that i squared is equal to minus 1. So 20i squared will now be 20 times negative 1. And that will give us negative 20. So 6 plus 23i minus 20. 6 minus 20 is minus 14 plus 23i. So this gives the product. If z1 is equal to 3 minus 4i and z2 is equal to 7 plus 5i, we have to find z1 times z2 and options are given. So z1 times z2, which is z1, z2, is equal to z1 is 3 minus 4i, 3 minus 4i times z2 which is 7 plus 5i 7 plus 5i so let's multiply and see which of the options is correct 3 times 7 is 21 
3 times 5i is 15i. Minus 4i times 7 is minus 28i. Minus 4 times 7 is minus 28. Minus 4i times 5i is, of course, minus 20i squared. Minus 4 times 5 is minus 20. i times i is i squared. So this is equal to 21. 15i minus 28i is minus 13i. i squared is minus 1. So we're having plus 20, actually. Minus 20 times minus 1 is 20, positive 20. 21 plus 20 is 41. Then minus 13i. So actually, option A is correct. It's just the same principle that we use to rationalize the denominator of a sword. That's what we're going to apply here. I will multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. The denominator here is 4 plus 3i. 4 plus 3i. The conjugate of this is obtained by changing the sign of the imaginary part. This is the imaginary part, 3i. It is carrying a plus. So the conjugate of this complex number is 4 minus 3i. This is the conjugate, the complex conjugate. So to evaluate this, 7 minus 4i all of our 4 plus 3i I'll multiply by 4 minus 3i and multiply the denominator also by 4 minus 3i. Okay. So to multiply this, we have 7 times 4, that's 28. 7 times minus 3i, that's minus 21i. Minus 4i times 4, that's minus 16i. Minus 16i. Minus 4i times minus 3i is plus 12i squared. Plus 12i squared. Minus times minus is a plus. 4 times 3 is 12. i times i is i squared. Divided by... 4 times 4, 16. 4 times minus 3i, minus 12i. 3i times 4, plus 12i. Of course, they're going to cancel out. Then, 3i times minus 3i, minus 9i squared. So let's simplify it. We have 28. Minus 21 minus 16 is minus 37. Minus 37i. I squared is minus 1. So 12i squared becomes i squared is minus 1. So minus 1 times 12 is minus 12. Divided by 16. Minus 9i squared, of course. I squared is minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 9 is plus 9. Plus 9. 28 minus 12 is 16. Minus 37i. All of our 16 plus 9 is 25. Okay? We can rewrite this as 16 over 25 minus 37i over 25, whichever way, we are still on point. Or we can even go as far as breaking it down to decimal numbers. It's still accepted. If z is equal to 2 minus i, we have to evaluate z plus 1 over z in the form a plus ib. Okay. z is 2 minus i. 2 minus i plus 1 all over the same z, which is 2 minus i. 
what we have to do now is to simplify this particular complex number, okay? And to do that, we we'll multiply both top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. That is 2 minus i plus 1 over 2 minus i times, remember what conjugate is. I will have to change the sign of this imaginary part. That will be 2 plus i, all over 2 plus i, okay? So this 2 minus i is there, 2 minus i plus 1 times 2 plus i is still 2 plus i. Then 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times i is 2i, minus i times 2 is minus 2i, of course that's 0. 2i minus 2i is 0. Minus i times i is minus i squared. Minus i squared. So we have 2 minus i plus 2 plus i all over i squared is minus 1. So this minus will affect the minus 1 to give us a plus 1. So we have 4 plus 1, which is 5. This is 0. So we can simplify this. A very simple way to do that. 5 times 2 minus i. That's 5 brackets 2 minus i plus this 2 plus i all over 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times minus i is minus 5i plus 2 plus i all over 5. 10 plus 2 is 12. Minus 5i plus i is minus 4i all over 5. Okay, so this is it. We can as well write it as 12 all over 5 minus 4i all over 5 is the same thing. So this gives z plus 1 all over z. All right, this is it for algebra of complex numbers. I hope you like the video. I'll see you in the next one.